Hello and welcome back to another episode of Japanese Snack Reviews. It is episode 14 of the series where I just eat a bunch of Japanese snacks that I got from Japan Crate and other sources, although these are all from Japan Crate. So today uh, we got a bunch of stuff from I think it's like the February and March crates and we're starting it off with some high chocolate sepi art. Uh, this is Hokkaido Cream. Uh, like specific chocolate. Now, I don't know if I've ever, ever had something featuring Hokkaido cream, but apparently they're well known for their dairy products and stuff. Very nice packaging, actually. I do like they're all individually packed as well, which lends me to believe that the chocolates inside are going to be quite, um, quite high tier, but we'll see, I suppose. Nice, uh, oh, nice satisfying swirl there. Uh, right, all that's left to do is to bite into this. That was really nice. Um, as you kind of imagine, that was incredibly creamy, actually. Um, yeah, it's got that kind of light chocolate taste that a lot of Japanese chocolate does. It does set it apart from American or UK chocolate. Um, and this is just like a stronger version of that. Incredibly creamy, uh, very milky as well. You can definitely taste the milky in the milk chocolate there. That is really nice. Um, I totally see why they're individually wrapped now. That is pretty high tier chocolate there. If you're a big fan of milk chocolate specifically, that is uh, that is very nice, actually. It has a nice lingering taste as well of just kind of creamy milk, which exa is exactly what it says on the package, providing you can read Japanese. Right, on to the next snack. All right, it's time for something a little bit sweet. And that is Poriki Brown Sugar Flavour. It's got that Japanese lion on the front. So, let's crack it open. Uh, I believe last episode we did have a brown sugar stick. Um, which is obviously a little bit different from this. So it's weird actually. Last episode we had a chocolate umaibo. Uh, which is typically a savoury thing that's now sweet. And this episode we've got uh, Poriki, which is another... They're like a savoury pocky, basically, but this is covered in chocolate, I guess. Uh, right, let's give it a taste. I can confirm this is not chocolate, actually. Um, it's just brown coloured, if that makes sense. Uh, it tastes and feels like just a biscuit, but it happens to be brown. That is really nice, actually. It's, um, it's a little more subtle than the brown sugar stick I had last episode. You definitely get uh, like a hint of the sugar and like sweetness afterwards, but it's a little bit subdued. I quite like that actually. It it's not overbearing, but it's still quite sugary. Um, it tastes a little bit. I think maybe I don't don't know if bitter is quite the word, but it tastes quite regular sort of biscuit with a hint of sugar. That's really nice. Um, not what I was expecting, but I'll absolutely take it. Right on. To the next snack. Good heavens, it's actually time to try a drink. That's right, it is Shake Shake Jelly, and this is grape flavour. So I think I've had something similar to this before. It is kind of, um, it's mostly a juice kind of drink. There's little jelly bits in it, so I've rolled my trusty glass, as always, to give it a go. So uh, I'm gonna open it up, pour some in, and we'll give it a go. I've definitely had something like this before, but I can't remember if I've had it from Japan Crate or I just bought it in like a Japanese food store. Okay, that's not coming out quite as... Ah, there you go. I think you just saw a little bit of that jelly. Uh, it's not really coming up on camera, but there is definitely a piece of jelly in there. Right, I'm gonna go give it a try. Mmm, now that is really nice. Um, so if you've ever had Japanese grape flavoured like um, sweets or anything, you'll know exactly what this tastes like. It's got a very distinct taste. It is very fake, I guess. I don't know, I've never had Japanese grapes. Maybe it is quite um, natural. But yeah, this is interesting. It's It's got pieces of very like thin jelly. You're not going to be chewing it or whatever, but it definitely kind of adds a thickness to this. It's very nice. 
the grape is quite pleasant. Um, as I said, if you don't like the kind of fake grape flavour, you're probably not going to dig it. But I really like this. I'm, I've always been a fan of the like aloe drinks you get with bits of aloe vera or whatever in it. So this is just kind of like doubly as good for me. But yeah, very nice. I definitely drink this again. Right, on to the next snack. Alright, it is time for something I've been quite looking forward to actually, and that is Prime, not to be confused with the um, really hyped energy drink thing. And this is Spicy Camembert Crackers. I'm very curious, I'm guessing this is like, like a biscuit, but obviously savoury instead of sweet. So, I'm going to tear it open. Um, it's it's confusing as well, because when I picked this out just now I was like, oh, I'm up for some sweet biscuits. And these are not them at all, apparently. So, they, there's two packs in here, which is always cool. I'm just going to be opening the one, obviously. Now, spicy cheese is always something I've quite enjoyed in snacks. Sorry, I had to tear it there. Uh, yeah, so spicy cheese, definitely curious about it. So, I'll grab one out. They're kind of small. But they do deceptively look very sweet. Uh, so you've got two little crackers and some, I'm guessing, cheese kind of filling in the middle. Let's see how spicy these are. Okay, so I, I actually had to eat two of those because I thought I was maybe missing out on something there. Um, I, I'll, I'll be honest, the, it's very strong cheese. Now, I'm not a cheese connoisseur. It probably is camembert. I couldn't really tell you. Red Leicester and cheddar are the kind of two I really recognise. In terms of the cheese, pretty good. It's got some nice cracker, nice cream cheese filling or whatever it is. I will say the spice is is not there, I don't know. Maybe I'm just used to like really strong spice by now or something. But I would have to describe that spice taste as a little bit like black pepper. Like someone sprinkled a little bit of pepper over it. Um, it's, it's maybe got a tiny kick in maybe the aftertaste. Um, but yeah, overall, that that well, that wasn't spicy. That's just camembert crackers, which isn't bad. But I was kind of expecting something to be a bit spicier. Um, right, okay, on to the next snack. Here it is time again for some Kit Kat. This time it's milk tea flavour. Uh, let's have a tea party. Let's. So. If you remember, uh, last episode, or the episode before, we did have the coffee break flavour, which uh, some of the comments did point out, actually, might not have necessarily been a coffee-flavoured Kit Kat, but a Kit Kat to go with coffee, I guess. Um, either way, they, they didn't taste the coffee at all. But this one, I've got some more hopes for. So, we oh, lucky. Wait, do they all say that? Oh no, they don't. Um, so they they've got different like packs. This is lovely. That's happy. Okay, so they, they've got lots of uh, very cute slogans. Well, I'm gonna stick with the lucky one because I reckon that means it'll taste the best. Um, yeah, very nice. Now, in terms of tea, I'll be honest with everyone here. Um, I never drink tea with any milk in. I I'll put a sugar depending on the tea, but. I don't know, I've never really enjoyed it with milk. Anyway, uh, it is the standard white chocolate, which means that this is going to taste of something and not just be a standard Kit Kat for pairing with tea. So, I'm going to go give it a try. Wow, that has really impressed me, actually. Um, so when I started eating it, I was like, oh, I'm not picking up anything but a bit of sweetness. But then you do get a tea taste. It does genuinely taste like tea. Um, that... That's impressive. And then you get the milkiness as well. So the milkiness, the milkiness is a little bit milky chocolate, white chocolatey kind of stuff. It doesn't really taste of milk necessarily. But it is quite creamy. And there's like, there's a tea aftertaste. It's a little bit subtle. Um, but I don't know. I, I could see people enjoying this, even if you don't like tea. Um, it's got a very distinct flavour, obviously. But that's really nice. I'm genuinely pretty impressed with that. I, I went in not expecting much. And it came out... Man, it's hard to rank these Japanese Kit Kats because I've had so many over the years now. But that's really nice. I wouldn't put it as high as the Matcha Green Tea or the Matcha Strong Green Tea. But that's pretty... That's very unique. Um, yeah. 
That, it, it's sweeter than you'd expect, but it's also more tea flavoured, which is win-win in my books. Right, on to the next snack. Alright, it's time for some ice cream. This is the Nericho Ice Cream Kit. This is cider flavoured. I thought it was Ramune for some reason. So, um, it's pretty straightforward, as you can see on the back. You put the powder in, put some water, and scoop it in the cone. So, I'm looking forward to trying this, because uh, it's definitely one of the more straightforward DIY kits. Hey, and the cones are intact. So, you, oh, we get three of them. That's pretty decent, actually. And, of course, you get ah something to mix it with, and scoop it with, no doubt. And the powder itself. I'm going to go put the cones off on top of the plastic here. Uh, right, so the instructions say, I do believe, it's two uh, teaspoons of water, which I have already measured off in it. Ooh, good lord, that was loud. Uh, off in a separate cup. So, uh, I'm going to pour that in, and then I'll, I'll probably do a time lapse because you have to stir it well or something. So, this is two uh, teaspoons worth, roughly speaking. So, I'm going to go ahead and stir this BRB. Alright, well, this is looking pretty for me now. Uh, I don't think I can mix it very much more. I think it's going to stay this for me. So, let's get a uh, ice cream cone and scoop it in. Uh, don't know how much is needed. I guess I'll put some more and kind of... That looks pretty decent, doesn't it? We'll go with that one. Uh, I'll eat the other two off screen. So it looks um, like an ice cream cone, really. It smells very strongly of um, kind of just fruity stuff. Kind of like apple, which cider is kind of apple, basically. Right, I'm going to go give this a try. Hmm. I'll be honest... It doesn't really work. Um, so it looks the part, absolutely. That is pretty for me. It looks like sort of freshly whipped ice cream. However, it doesn't really have a consistency. This is just foam. This is like really thin foam. So there's nothing to really like bite into or lick particularly. And the sort of, it's weird when you do bite into the corn because there's like nothing and then there's corn. Um, I mean, it's nice that the cider, like, froth and stuff is really nice, but I don't know, it looks like ice cream, but it, that that's where the similarities end. There's like, it, it doesn't feel like you're eating ice cream or an ice cream snack or anything. It doesn't taste of ice cream. Um, yeah, it, it's cool form and it looks really nice, but eh, yeah, not, not sold in this one. This is like a, a solid, like, four out of ten. Uh, right, on to the next snack. Alright, it's time for a sweet fermented rice drink. Uh, so this is omazake, I think it is. Um, and yeah, it's fermented rice, but it's sweetened. And apparently traditional to drink in the sort of springtime or something. Uh, it is now the summer, so I'm actually slightly late, but let's give this a try. Ooh, okay, so... Yeah, not quite as white as I thought. I'd, I thought it'd look more like milk than anything, but it is kind of palish. Right, let's give it a go. That... Ooh, I, I don't know how to feel about that. I... I <laughs> um, so... It's... The nearest taste I can think of, and it's obvious, um, is it tastes like sweetened sake. Uh, because obviously sake is rice wine. Um, and this is fermented rice, you know, a drink. But sweetened, obviously. Hmm. It's hard to describe. It is sweet. It is quite nice. But it's got an aftertaste that, if you've ever had sake, you'll know what I mean. It's got that kind of, like, rice taste to it. And that's a little bit... I don't know. Not, it's not sharp, but it's kind of, like, more savoury than sweet, maybe. So it kind of cuts through the sweetness of this. It's not bad. It's just a unique taste. Um... Yeah, it, it really is like sweetened sake. That is interesting. Um, I don't hate it, but I, I, don't, I, I don't know. I think I'd need to drink more of this and like... Yeah, that's weird. 
Um, let me know if you guys have tried this in the comments. I know it's like obviously, you know, traditionally Japanese. Um, yeah, that was really interesting though. I'm definitely going to drink the whole can. That was, that was really cool. Right, on to the next snack. Alright, it's time for some choco flakes. So these are two kind of um, crumbly chocolate biscuit things. Which I'm always quite a fan of, because uh, I don't know about other countries, but in the UK, uh, the whole chocolate uh, rice crispy or chocolate cornflake uh, sort of cakes are quite popular, where basically you just put a ton of them into melted chocolate and stir them around. And it's kind of what this is as well. Um, yeah, right, I'm going to take a bite. Wow, that is really good. Um, so, as I was saying, it's kind of like crispy, flaky stuff that's mixed into um, chocolate. But the chocolate is really, um, it's really uh, rich and quite thick as well. So usually with these kind of things, you bite into them and the chocolate won't be that substantial. But these are really packed with chocolate. Um, to the point where that's basically all you taste. You don't really taste the crunchy things. And the chocolate inside is like, it's... It's not dark, but I don't know, or maybe it's a mix of dark and milk chocolate or something, because it's not super sweet, but it's very strong. That is really good chocolate, actually. Like, if that was just in a bar, um, without all the crunchy things, that would still be really high-tier chocolate. That is incredible. I wasn't expecting. I thought this would be like, oh, this would be a nice little treat. But, wow, that... I, I, I'm almost tempted to like, keep the other half for a different day now, because I don't want to... I don't want to leave go of the chocolate flakes too quickly. Yeah, that is really nice. Highly recommended. Right, on to the last snack. You know, it's rare that I review complex snacks, but today is probably the most complex one we've ever had. This is a big marshmallow. This is a big marshmallow. Uh, so, I just want to end it on something simple. I love marshmallows. I haven't had them in ages, actually. Um, I feel like I may have tried this a few years ago in a different uh, Japan crate, but there you go. It's a big fluffy marshmallow. I'm just going to go take a bite. That is exactly what you'd think it is. Um, yeah, that was really nice. There's something about marshmallow. If you don't like it, you don't like it. But that is really nice. It has. Uh, it's probably taken me back. I, I've not had them in several years. They still sell them and everything. I just never bothered to buy them, really. But that is pretty good. Um, and that also wraps up this episode of Japanese Snack Reviews. Thank you guys very much for watching. I will, of course, be doing more in the future. I've got, I think it's like two and a half boxes still to go through before the next one comes along. Um, if you did watch my most recent uh, Japan Crate video, you will know I'm cancelling my uh, subscription to them starting in September. But I will be trying a different subscription box, so these videos will probably still be coming out anyway. But yeah, I've got tons lined up uh, for at least two more episodes uh, before I switch over. So stay tuned for more Japanese snack reviews. As always, let me know in the comments if uh, you've tried any of these, or if you recommend any snacks that are similar to the ones that I've tried today, because I'm always on the lookout for more Japanese snacks. But as always, thank you guys very much for watching. I'll leave a playlist to my previous Japanese snack reviews there, I'll leave YouTube, choose a random one there, and I'll let you get on with it. Thank you guys very much, and until next time, goodbye!